Hey, welcome back to the channel. Divine timing, we are rising. I am your messenger, Shira, and I am back with another divinely guided, intuitive, channeled message just for you collective. So please be sure to only take what resonates and absolutely leave what does not. This is going to be another all signs channel read, also timeless. So please keep in mind that the energies that I pull up on are past, present, and near future, but y'all knew that though. All right, I'd like to give a quick shout out to all of the old and new subscribers. Thank you all for doing what you do. Thank you for your consistent likes, all right? Thank you for your consistent comments, shares, subscribes. It really, really does mean a lot. Um, thank you for loving me. You know that I love you, all right? You dig, all right? Um, you all, I'm just arising, well, not long ago, that is, from a very, very, like, this was a jam-packed dream. I think I woke up over the night, I woke up, I believe, twice, once to use the bathroom, once to, you know, get water, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, the second time, actually, I did get something to drink, but I just kind of stayed up a little longer, and I pondered on the dream. It was so jam-packed. Like, my own kids were in the dream. And then, as I arose, I'm in my room sitting in a certain spot, setting up. And I noticed that I'm having, like, a strong, like, an immense feeling of deja vu coming over me. Like, there's something that I seen positioned the way it was positioned in my room. There was something that I seen previously in a dream before. Or in some sort of epiphany that I had. Some sort of premonition that is bringing itself back to me now so um there's some really really uh well the stranger things are happening right but um this is all positive so to speak um but you know we still we still fighting the great fight as per usual um but we get in there and in advance we have won and we have risen so let's get on into the yeah I accidentally cut the thing off, but um, this is going to be a blackout video. Um, and the download that I received this morning is, or this rising, excuse me, is your magic does not work the same way for them as it works for you. You see, someone thought all they had to do was be a carbon copy of you, a clone of you. Mm-hmm. All they had to do was pretend to be you. Uh, all they had to do was copy the mannerisms, copy the char characteristics, and they thought, oh, they got the sauce. But you see, collective, your sauce is your sauce. Your magic is your magic, and somebody is seeing that now. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull some Sacred Oracle Rebel deck messages, all right? If you all haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it so that we can get ourselves circulating in the algorithm and other beautiful souls as yourselves can reach these beautiful messages and see how they can gain edification. All right. That's always the main objective here. All right. Wow. We have the number six. First card out of the deck. This is shock of the new. All right. So in terms of my dream uh in terms of i guess you could say the recent turn of events i'll say that there's going to be a huge shocker for many of you because i know on a collective level we're all experiencing this in some way just in terms of our purpose our destiny and really being in soul alignment with that yeah, this is about to be huge. Bottom of the deck. Yep, we got the number five here. Wow. And this is follow your own rhythm. Okay? So not only is this a period of, like, newness, okay, of transformation, of growth, love, beauty, harmony, happiness, healing, most importantly, and the addressing and acknowledging and the taking accountability of what it is that you must receive internally and externally to be able to be at your best mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and so on. Okay. So tell me more about this, spirit guides, ancestors, most high creator of all things. Tell me more. Yeah, I just feel like hmm, this could have been a family member collective or someone very close to you. Um, I'm also picking up like something about a neighbor 
okay? Somebody wanted to use your magic on you or something like that. It did not work because like the, the way in which they went about it, how they went about it, it just did not have the same effect and it will not have the same effect, all right? Yeah, we have the, um, the number 30 here and this is the perfection of your life, okay? So um, I'll, this, this is the last card I'll pull because uh, after the follow your own rhythm, a couple of messages came out. So I just would like to pull those three. But anyways, this is shock of the new, follow your own rhythm and the perfection of your life, okay? So this is beautiful energy collective. Um, yeah, somebody is very focused on you now. You have someone really, really tuned in. Um, in terms of your dreams collective, I feel like you all could be dreaming of people from your past or your recent past, okay, that you could have, you know, been in disconnection with. Um, let's see, tell me more. Someone here could be going through some sort of karma. Um, yeah, we have teleportation. But, but yeah, this karma is based off of, yeah, them trying to masquerade in your power them trying to masquerade in your energy as if they were you yeah and then we have teleportation collective okay so someone here could have just newly realized and understood that they in fact teleport all right or they have the ability to do so right um but yes we have follow your own rhythm let's clarify that like what what is this follow your own rhythm i'm pulling some channel messages behind this you all oh wow so we have a logical hmm there was some illogical thinking that went in or have something to do with a certain person, place, or thing. Somebody was not thinking logically. In fact, they were thinking very illogically. They thought that, like, people people can be so, um, just so dense to the point where it's like they don't think clearly, all right? They're so dense. They're so heavy. They're so filled with with inner hate, inner demons and such. And then when they see someone who is fulfilling their dreams, who is fulfilling their purpose and is on that journey towards, you know, betterment, it really, really upsets people. See, it's like they, they was hating on your spiritual gifts at one point. It was all fun and games. It was funny at one point. This could even be a past lover collective. Somebody was uh, like a little hatery, but they were still trying to be with the, with the Susie, with the funnies, you know? Um, I don't know why I just said Susie. I was going to be, I was about to say this, something Susie's. Um, the client, I don't know what the fuck that saying is, but somebody's name here could be Susie. I don't know. But yeah, they was with that loosey goosey, Susie ass bullshit. And ain't nobody finna deal with that. <clears throat> Plain and simple. Yeah, we have the perfection of your life. And right below that, we have a change in your luck. So yes, collective, please expect a change in your luck before the month of July comes to a close, all right? Um, many of you could have had, I wouldn't say a tough month, but there was plenty moments of clarity is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, someone wanted you to be in this illogical mindset. Someone wanted you to be confused. Yeah, you're being guided not to personalize the situation. Don't personalize the situation here. Because understandably, you understand that these individuals are sick. You know, they never had your best interest at heart. Now, uh, moving towards some tarot, we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So you all could have very well been in hermit mode for a while here. Okay? Um, you could be in solitude at this time, just really working on you diligently, effortlessly. All right? And doing what it is that the Father guides you and instructs you to do. That could also be causing uh, a lot of rift and a lot of jealousy within a certain group of people who had, the, who had the opportunity once before to grow and rise and ascend with you all, but chose not to, right? So yeah, you have clarity about a situation. Mm -hmm. We have the Five of Wands. So <clears throat> Five of Wands is coming out in the reverse. I feel like Five or more people was definitely trying to bicker with you, fight with you, start some sort of ruckus up with you. Um, again, this was out of jealousy and envy, um, just out of their whole reasoning, the reasoning behind 
well, okay, how can I put this? The reason why they did this is because they have nothing to lose, collective. So it's like, a motherfucker that don't have nothing to lose nor nothing to live for, yeah, they're, they're, they're willing to destroy anybody, and that includes you. That's why it's very important to stay prayed up, <clears throat> collective, because it just seems like these motherfuckers started really, really hating on the low because they realized they can't be you. The more and more they try to be you, the more and more they fail and the more and more things failed in their life. You know, it, like their manifestations failed to come in because it wasn't coming from their own, their own creativity. It wasn't coming from their own heart. Yeah, we got the lovers in the reverse coming out as well as the ten of coins upright. Yeah, so this could have been someone, like I said, that was very well working against you. Um, this could have been like a business partner that you had to cut off or cut cords with <clears throat> or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups coming in right behind the Ten of Coins. That's both upright. So, yeah, I feel like there is definitely um, going to be, like, a change in a family dynamic, which this is a positive change, that is. This is going to be a period of growth, transformation, healing, also clarity. Yeah, you're definitely being guided not to personalize any situation, negative or positive, that comes in your life that you feel causes you any type of strife, riffraff, or disdain, okay? Because there will be a change in your luck is what I am seeing here. Yeah, that is why you're being guided to follow your own rhythm. Tell me your spirit, guys. Yep, we got the Eight of Cups. Yep, so you're about to be, and or you already are, excuse me, depending upon how far you all are in your evolutionary process. I mean, of course, always celebrate the small achievements and the baby steps. But anyway, somebody here is about to make a major, major step, like a major, or take a major step, or and or make a major move here. All right, this is very, very beautiful energy. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups, or excuse me, the Two of Cups out here. All right, so this is stability. Um, this is bravery. This is love. Okay, this is passion. This is reunion. Okay, this is putting, yeah, putting two heads together. Yeah, thinking clearly. Okay, yeah, we got the five of swords. <clears throat> Someone wanted to, in the past, perhaps maybe leave you, like, feeling humiliated or this is how you felt. But, again, you were, you were guided not to personalize the situation there. All right, we have the six of wands coming out right behind the five of swords. So what I'm seeing with the Six of Wands is, yeah, you're you're victorious, all right? This victory is your birthright. Yes, you had to go through a lot of shit to get to where you are now, but it was well worth it. You didn't go through half of those things that you went through for no reason. <coughs> Excuse me. I got an incense lit and it's all in my damn throat. But yes, um, you didn't go through half of the things that you went through for no reason you feel me it may seem like that when you're going through high stress levels and you know the back and forth and you feel like you can't catch a break you know you wonder when the sign is when the sun is going to shine on you again you know when are you going to receive a sign but i feel like you all have definitely just like i said you have went inward you went into hermit mode which is why you're receiving this justice okay this six of wands energy yeah after a period of having to deal with conflict after, after excuse me after having to deal with pettiness after having to deal with people places and things that truly did not want the best for you that wanted to belittle you torment you mentally and energetically spiritually and the list goes on right but we got the sun coming out all right so again the sun will shine again on you there is going to be a mighty change in your luck. A spirit is saying, claim it. All right? Proclaim who it is. Okay? Remember who it is that you are. Remember the power that you hold when you're going through the day-to-day -day struggles and, and, you know, whatever. Spirit is saying, remember who the fuck you are. Okay? Excuse my language, but I gotta just call it like I see it. Yeah, we got the, um, we got the three of swords out here. So I feel like somebody here is, it's like now somebody's betraying themselves. Like they, they, it was funny. It was all fun and games when they was betraying you behind the scenes, when they was taken from you behind the scenes, whether mentally, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, the list goes on prior to your full awakening and to your full understanding of the full scope of things, right? But like now with this three of swords, somebody is literally like, 
they're fucking stabbing their own asses in the heart. You know, they're causing this betrayal and this self-sabotage, and they're bringing this upon themselves. Yeah, we have the moon at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so there was a lot of truth that was revealed um, about the situation. Um, this is something that you've already, like, known. Yeah, you could be receiving more messages in your dreams. So you all, please pay attention and write down your dreams at this time. Um, <clears throat> that was another thing that Spirit told me. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody, this is like an energy of, like, looking for you. Someone here could be trying to energetically, like, look for you, spiritually look for you. Yeah, because you've completely shut them out in the physical. You don't want anything to do with this person in, in the physical, period. You know? And, yeah. So, <clears throat> that is what I have for you, Collective. I'm not trying to make this one too long. But, um, yeah, like. Just keep on doing what you're doing, Collective. Do not personalize the situation. You are exactly where you are for a reason, okay? Everything is happening for a reason. You know, just understand and understand and make sure that you are learning the lessons. I and, um, yeah, what else? What else? Oh, um, it ain't over till it's over. So keep fighting the great fight. And until next time, Collective, peace, love, and